Welcome to this Control Web Panel tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss the DNS Zone Editor module. To access the DNS Zone Editor, go to the left-hand sidebar and under DNS Functions, click the twirl down button and select DNS Zone Editor. Or from the dashboard, scroll down to the DNS Functions section and select DNS Zone Editor. DNS is the internet component that converts legible domain names into computer-readable IP addresses. This is done according to the DNS zone files that reside on the domain name server that are attached to the IP. To manage your DNS zones, start by selecting a domain. This opens a table with your user-defined records. If you're looking for something specific, you can use the search function to help you narrow it down. Otherwise, you can sort by record name, by record type, by priority, or by records. For each of these records, you have the option to either edit the record or delete. If you choose to edit the record, you can assign a new host, target, or TTL, and then save your record. You can also add different types of DNS records. And these must be added one at a time. Let's add a C name. When inputting the record values, it's recommended to copy and paste as much as possible to be sure you're inputting the correct values. When you click Save Record, CWP will do a validation before saving to ensure that the file is not corrupted. Once it's saved, we can expand our table and then scroll down to see the record we just added. If we want to add another record, we just scroll back up and click Add Type Record. Let's add an A record this time. And first we'll give a record name, then provide the IP address, and again we'll use copy and paste to ensure that our input is exact, and the TTL is fine. So we'll go ahead and save this record. And we get the success dialog. If we scroll down, we can see this record isn't on the list, but we're only seeing the top 10 entries here. So let's expand our table to 25 entries. And now we'll scroll down. And we'll see our new A record that we just added. Let's do one more. We'll go back up and we'll add a type record. This time we will add a TXT text. We'll give this one a record name. And be sure to enter your cache time. And then we'll input our text record. And then save the record. Now to see the record we just added, we'll expand our table. And sort by type. And scroll down. And there we see the record we just added. Let's try another one. We will again add type record and txt text. We'll give this one a name. We'll call it record B. Give it a cache time. Insert our text record and save the record. If you get an error like this, it's probably because you added a space in the record name your record has to be one word with no spaces. You can use dots, dashes, or underscores to substitute for spaces. Give our record a name. Enter the cache time. And enter our text record. And save record. And we can do a search for the record we just entered. And here we can see the record we just added. And we'll go ahead and we'll do one more. Again, we'll add another TXT. Give this one a record name. Give it a cache time. And enter our text record 
and then save record. And it saves our record. We can expand our table and scroll down to find the record we just added here. Since I see a duplicate record here, I think I will delete this one and then confirm. For more information, please refer to the Control Web Panel User Guide on DNS Zone Editor. Thanks very much for watching.